Let's check out how to make this awesome gradient in motion here in Illustrator. All right, so first I'm going to go to the fill and the stroke and I'm going to swap it. So the fill is going to be black. Click on the stroke, click on the non, click on the fill. So it's going to be in the top. And I'm going to select the circle, press and hold shift plus alt, create a sphere. And from here, I'm going to go to the gradient and I'm going to select the mesh tool. Now, if you don't have this mesh tool, you can go here to the three dots, click on it and you go here to the paint and here you can find the mesh tool. All you need to do is just drag and drop it somewhere here and it's going to place it in the toolbar. After you select the mesh tool, all you need to do is go here to the sphere. I'm going to go somewhere at this point, click on it and it's going to create this crossing section. And I'm going to do another one somewhere here. Now all you need to do is select one of these anchor points, click on it. Let's go to the colors and let's go and select the color. Now I'm going to go back, select another anchor point, for example, this one, and I'm going to select another color and this way you can customize them. I also going to repeat this with the rest of the two. So the next thing you need to do is also recolor these external anchor points, which are placed outside of the circle. So I'm going to select this one and change it. And I'm going to repeat the same step with the rest as well. And this side should look after it's recolored. And what I'm going to do now is select one of the internal anchor points, click on it, and I'm going to drag it. And I'm going to start distorting this gradient mesh. So the yellow should go somewhere here and I'm going to select the blue and bring it in. So right now I'm just going to do the basic illustration, how it should look, and then I'm going to stylize it. So how you should stylize these is basically select one of these handles and just drag it and, and I'm going to push it this way and check this out. It is going to curve it. And this is basically the same process we're going to apply on the rest as well. We're going to need to curve every each. So we got a little bit of problem here, as you can see, it is kind of messed up, but I'm going to try to fix it. I'm going to select this one and here I'm going to pull the anchor point. Let's see what happens. I'm also going to make these more straight and I'm also going to bend this one. There you go. See that? So now it worked out. All you needed to do is like curve this one. Now it's better. And I'm also going to curve the rest and let's go repeat this step with the rest. So check this out, now it starts to look somewhat closer and all you need to do is just stylize until you're going to become satisfied with it. So right now here we got this issue that is creating this line right here. So if I pull it, you can see it is happening because these are not curved out. So I'm going to drag this, make it curvy and now it's working better. I also going to select this one and curve it and check this out. Now we got way better results. All right, so this is how it looks. After you finish, you're also gonna apply grain. So I'm gonna go to the effect. Let's go to the texture, select grain. The contrast should be on 50 and you can increase or decrease the intensity. And I'm gonna go with 35, click OK. And that's it. Thanks for watching.